welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates and today I have a fun tutorial for you on how to make a uh, stamp brush in Procreate. So this is an example of what we're going to make today. This uh, piece right here was created with a heart stamp brush. And if you don't know what a stamp brush is, basically all it is is a brush in Procreate that you can use and just stamp on your canvas to get the shape. And you can change the colors and you can change the size and the opacity. And what I love about stamp brushes is um, it makes my workflow go a lot quicker and it makes things look uh, consistent in my work. Um, so you don't have to draw the shape over and over again. You just use the stamp brush and stamp it on the paper and, or I'm sorry, on the screen and you're good to go. Now there's a lot of different types of Procreate brushes that are available. Um, some have texture uh, built into them so you can use them for uh, shading. Um, but this brush that we're going to make is a very, very basic, no texture, just a simple uh, shape. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open up your canvas and you need a square canvas. I believe this one is the, um, let's see, what did I put this one at? I usually use the square 2048 by 2048 canvas, and that's what I'm using right here. Okay, so you have your canvas, and the important thing when making a stamp brush is that you need a black background, and everything that you draw, uh, your shape has to be white. So in order to make a black background, Okay, I'm just going to delete these heart layers right here. Okay, so you could change your background color right here, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to um, make this layer one black. So to do that, tap on your color palette up here and we are gonna cho choose true black. Just tap on the bottom here and then just drag and drop it in. Now, since we're drawing a heart, we want things to be symmetrical. And to help with that, we can turn on the drawing guide. So come over here to your wrench, uh, canvas, and toggle on the drawing guide right here, and then edit drawing guide. And what we want is, um, we wanna use the symmetry uh, setting down here. That way, uh, when you use symmetry, what you draw on one side of the line will be replicated on the other side of the line, and it makes drawing things like hearts very easy. So come over here to symmetry, tap on options, and we're gonna use vertical. And up here, you can slide this so your guide marks are white. If you slide it all the way over to the right, your guide will be white. It's a little bit hard to see here, but I promise you it's there. You can turn up the opacity like so with this slider and you can change the thickness of the line right here to make it easier to see. So once you have all that set, just hit done and we'll be ready to start. Okay, so once you have your canvas set up, then it's time to draw your heart. So you wanna use white and you wanna choose a monoline brush and the brushes under the calligraphy set that comes with Procreate work just fine. So choose monoline under the calligraphy set, set your uh, color to white, and make sure you're working on a separate layer. So create a new layer on top of your black background. Do not draw on your black background or this will not work. Okay, so then you're just gonna draw your heart. I'm gonna start at the middle line and whatever, because it's set up for symmetry, whatever I draw on one side is going to be replicated on the other side. Pretty much cuts our work in half. Make sure to turn on the drawing assist for this layer 
so the symmetry will work on your new layer. So once you have your heart drawn, all you're going to do is fill it in with the white. Just drag, drag and drop. And obviously, because my white filled the entire page, I don't have a closed path right here. So I'm just going to fix that. Close that up. Make sure everything is closed. And there we go. Now you can go around and fix what you want to fix. Like... Down here, my heart doesn't come to a point the way I want it. So I am just going to take the eraser tool and come down here and erase this and make this a nice clean point right here. A nice sharp point. Okay. So if you want to do any more editing or anything to your shape, now is the time to do it. But when you're happy with it, then you need to um, save this as a JPEG. So come up here to the wrench tool, share, hit JPEG. And you're just going to save your image to your camera roll. Okay. So now we're going to come into our brushes library or brush library and I have already created a new uh, brush set up here called stamps which is where I'm going to put uh, my new brush so in order to create a new brush library if you pull down on here you can see this plus sign you just tap on the plus sign and a new like untitled set will come up and you can name it whatever you want but since I already have one created, I don't need this one. So I'm just going to delete that one. Okay. So we're going to start down here, though, with this monoline brush. And what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate this brush and use the basic settings from this monoline brush and apply them to our new heart stamp brush. So swipe left. And duplicate and then we're gonna move this monoline brush into our stamps library so just tap and hold and then open your stamps library and drop it in you can see up here is a heart brush that I already created um, so we're gonna just open this monoline brush right here and so this is your brush, your monoline brush, and it has the basic settings that we want to use for our stamp brush. So the first thing we need to do is go down to the shape. And you can see that the shape of this monoline brush is a circle. What we're gonna do is import the heart shape that we just created. So you tap edit, import, import a photo and Tap on your photo that you just uh, saved and then hit done. And now the heart is going to be your shape instead of the circle. So if we clear the drawing pad here, if we draw on this, you can't really tell that it's a heart. So we have to make a few uh, adjustments. And the first thing is to come down here to properties, hit use stamp preview, orient to screen and turn the preview up pretty high. Under brush behavior, you're gonna increase the maximum size to about, I don't know, 500, four or 500. And then just tap and see what happens. And now you can see that you have a heart instead of that line. But if you draw like this, you still have um, a line. It's like the hearts are all squished together. So in order to adjust that, we can go up here to stroke path. And if we draw out a line again, up here under the stroke properties and spacing, if you increase the spacing, look what happens. 
Now your hearts are all spaced out. So you can adjust whatever you want to adjust. And that's basically it for what you have to change um, to get this heart stamp brush like this. So again, down in properties, uh, you want to increase the maximum size, uh, increase the preview size percentage, toggle on the stamp preview and orient to screen, and then up in the stroke path, you just change the spacing. And if, if you wanna leave it like this, you totally can. But if you want to be able to create a line of hearts, just adjust the spacing to however much you want. And then here underneath the drawing pad, you can also change the color to see, you know, what it looks like with different colors. Um, but that's basically it. So if you hit done, you can see here that in the brush library, the uh, brush that we just created, the preview is kind of big. So in order to fix that, just go down to properties and decrease the preview size. And then you'll have a heart that fits in your preview. So you can see the whole thing. Now to rename this, if you go down to about this brush, you can tap right here and you can rename it. I'm gonna rename it Heart 2, but you can name it whatever you want. You can also um, like put your name in here. Uh, you can also upload a, I, get, I think you can upload a photo too, or maybe your logo or something right there. So, then if we come back to our original drawing, I'm going to turn off that black layer right there and create a new layer. And I'm gonna change my color to purple and then just choose this new heart stamp that we just created. And you can see how it works. Now over here, it's really small because this slider right here was pretty much all the way down. So if you increase the size, then you can see that you have perfectly shaped hearts. So you can increase the size right here. You can draw that line that I was talking about. And then down here, you can use the slider to increase and decrease the opacity. So this brush is not pressure sensitive, which means if you tap the screen lightly, it's going to have the same opacity as if you tap the screen uh, harder. So if you wanna change the opacity of this brush, you have to use this uh, opacity slider right here. So that's pretty much it on how to create a basic stamp brush in Procreate. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe, um, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more tutorials like this, you can follow me over on my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.